This video is a supplied product review from Viking Bags, today's sponsor. You know, I really want to go for a ride, a long ride. I just don't know if I have enough luggage space. I know what to do. Hello, Viking? Yeah, can you send me your biggest bag? I'm trying to plan a trip, but I just don't think I have enough luggage. Great, I'll watch for it. Now all we gotta do is wait. Orbell? Ah, the Viking bag. Great. Well, let's get this opened up and see what it looks like on the bike. Hey, everybody. Week rides here. All comedy aside, Viking reached out to me. They said, hey, would you mind doing a review if we sent you a product? You know, I'm a relatively small YouTuber. I was real excited about that. So, I said yes. And they sent me, boy, did they send me a bag. Bag with room for days. This bag might be the hotel, the hotel lear of bags. So let's get it unpacked, pull the new bike out, and see what it looks like on there. Is it gonna be a good fit for a long trip? I think it's gonna have plenty of storage, but let's see what we find, shall we? Instructions included. The Dagar bag. It can be converted into a backpack using the supplied straps. Sissy bar bag. Looks like there's just two steps. Place bag on seat or luggage rack with flat side facing towards backrest. The flat side of the bag has the adjustable sleeve which must go around the sissy bar. Step two, use the D-rings to strap the bag to the backrest or sissy bar. Seems pretty straightforward. Viking makes hella bags. I got the Viking's Balder bags on my little in-town bike. It would be nice to have something with a little bit more spacious room on the big bike. My God, will you look at that? Well, that looks like it's gonna fit quite all right, doesn't it? Or would it work better this way? Yeah, I think I like it better on the luggage rack. Taking a look at what's included in our Dagar bag, upon opening it up, I really love the attention to detail here. These straps to keep the big flap from flapping around or just dropping open with all your stuff in it. Genius. Top marks, Viking. That's incredibly thoughtful and shows you guys are the leaders in the luggage game because you're paying attention to the details that matter to me, the rider and user. We have a beautiful red in here. I think it was UCM Pigs who was doing a review of a Viking bag who mentioned the red makes a beautiful backdrop in case you're looking for something in low light. You got a light, goes off the red looks real nice can't beat that if you guys haven't checked out UCM pig go check out his channel he does an incredible review on Vikings it's gonna be way more detailed than mine this is just the uh, weekend review looks like we got a nice big maybe laptop spot nice little place for stowing stuff away what do we got in these side pockets some uh, wrapping paper but when we get there. Oh, and this is the top bag with even more room. Look at that. You've got basically a incredible with even more pockets. Or just side entrances. Here's our rain cover. 
and all of our straps including the backpack straps as mentioned they were supplied this top bag which looks like it just fastens to these wonderfully supplied d-rings oh they're even they're even put on really well look at that bolted on how great again viking killing it this looks like a high quality product that's what we want to see as a consumer all i really want is for my dollars to go a little further than well maybe then they should and uh getting high quality products makes you feel good about every dollar you spend like it's gonna hold up i can tell you from doing a lot of traveling and having many different types of luggage this is a nice extra big zipper good and thick let's see if it catches it all not a problem I've had bags tore on the first zip that one I was just extra hard on good key weight good teeth good zipper I like it we got a supplied rain cover here feels like a pretty high quality rain cover this is way thicker than came with those uh, cheapo Amazon bags that I'll never buy again look at that we got a nice rubber lining in there the the rainproof lining got a drawstring to cinch it down tucks away pretty easy right in the palm of my hand can't beat that call that we call that the shove test handles me shoving stuff in all haphazardly I dig it so this is the Viking Dagar bag let's go over some of the specs as according to Viking going over some of the specs of the Dagar bag according to Viking this is their medium motorcycle bag includes uh, straps made of a high quality Cordura its dimensions are 10 by 11 by 15 the storage capacity is a thousand ninety eight cubic inches the mounting sleeve in the back is highly adjustable and can fit almost any sissy bar there you go good for just about anybody's bike that's what you want my overall impressions of the Viking bag seems pretty tough seems pretty durable and I got to tell you, in March, I got a trip down to Florida on this, the new bike, the Kawasaki Vulcan Vaquero 1700. Pretty excited about it. And uh, I think this bag's going to be an incredible addition to my trip. I've got some nice room in my hard cases. But having places to stow all my luggage and uh, maybe a little bit more, a kitchen sink. That'll be real nice. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comments. This is just an overview, sort of an initial checking the bag out, going over some of the specs. I like this bag. I want to say thank you to Viking for sending it to me to try out. I can't wait to get it through some rain, through some Iowa weather, and see how it holds up. They've got something for everybody and something for every style of bike. Now I can already hear some of you in the comments section. Bill, you got a new bike. What's it sound like? Well, let's give it a little quick listen, shall we? <laughs> 